Good morning and happy Gilmore Girls Readathon Day 1. I still need to film my TBR for this, so uh, hopefully you will have seen that before you see this vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I started listening to the group book, Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham, and it's so funny and so great. So I'm going to be listening to that this morning while I have breakfast and get ready. And then I have to work, and then I'll be doing some more reading. So see you later. So I just finished filming my TBRs, and I'm going to go ahead and get into All the Light You Cannot See now. All right, it's 10 o'clock at night now. Um, I haven't done a lot of vlogging today. Uh, I haven't done that much reading either. It's been kind of busy, but I filmed a couple of videos for you guys that you will have seen by the time you see this one, hopefully. Um, and I've been trying to get those videos on the computer and having some technical difficulties, which is stressing me out, but that's all right. Um, I just watched an episode of Supernatural because their final season starts in 10 days, which I am both very excited and very sad about. So I've been kind of re-watching them and just re-watching season one. I'm definitely not going to get through the whole show before it starts, but I thought it would be fun to go back to season one. So I'm going to go ahead and get some reading in this done before I go to bed. Alright, I'm heading to bed. Um, I have gotten to page 50 in All the Light We Cannot See, and I listened to about half an hour of Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren, Lauren Graham this morning. And I would keep reading, but my eyes are starting to go buggy because I am tired and need to go to sleep, so I'm going to do that. And I don't have to work tomorrow, so I should be able to get a lot of reading done. Good morning, it's the second, and I've been reading um, already this morning. I just made myself some lemon tea because it's finally feeling like fall and it's cold. And I'm on about page 67 of All the Light We Cannot See, and it's really good so far. I have to take my sister to work in a couple of minutes, and then um, pretty much just reading. Okay, the cat's, sorry, trying to get my attention. <laughs> pretty much just reading the rest of the day. Um, and editing a video, so. <laughs> it's noon. Um, and I've read a little over 100 pages of this book and listened to another half an hour or so of talking as fast as I can. Uh, I need to clean the kitchen. I don't want to do it, but I need to. And then I have to go pick up my sister from work, so I'm going to take a little break from reading, and I'll pick it up again in a little while. Alright, it's 9 o'clock at night, and I am a little over, let's see, 130 pages into All the Light We Cannot See. Um, but it's been a stressful day, and since All the Light We Cannot See is kind of a heavier book about World War II, obviously... Um, I ended up skipping over to the Sparrow Sisters, uh, just for something a little bit lighter and, uh, easier at the moment because I was feeling stressed, so I'm only like 10 pages into it, but I'm gonna read it now until I fall asleep. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come on. Yeah, I love you so much. That's going to do it for me tonight. It's 10.30, and I'm about 60 pages into the Sparrow Sisters, and not a lot has happened. Um, basically just a new doctor moved into town and kind of learning the backstories of all of these sisters. So, yeah, it's... I mean, it's interesting, but we'll see. Hopefully it picks up a little bit soon. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey, guys. It is the third now, and I am back from work making myself some butternut squash mac and cheese for lunch, and I'm going to continue reading The Sparrow Sisters. Lunch is done. 
it looks delicious and I'm a hundred pages into the Sparrow Sisters so hopefully I'll finish this today all right it is 7 30 at night now I'm gonna go ahead and get in the bath I've been reading pretty much all day off and on since I came home from work and I am 190 pages into the Sparrow Sisters and finally um, something is happening so yeah it's been an okay book but not not what I was expecting and not a lot has happened so I'm hoping the last half of the book will be um, better than the first half but We'll see. It's still enjoyable, just not great. So while I'm in the bath, I'm going to listen to Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. I have about three hours left on that audiobook. Morning on October 4th, and happy birthday to my mom. Uh, yeah, I have... Uh, I just got out of the shower and did my hair. I have 60 pages left in the Sparrow Sisters. I'm going to try and finish it right now. Just finished the Sparrow Sisters. And yeah, definitely not a favorite book of mine. Uh, I'm probably going to give it two stars. It just, I don't know, it didn't live up to what I thought it would be. And I didn't think the writing was that good. I don't think the characters were that compelling. I just got a notification that Every Heart a Doorway is ready for pickup at my library. So in a few minutes, I'm going to go to the library. I have uh, let me show you, a very large stack of books uh, to take back. So I'm going to take these back to the library and pick up Every Heart a Doorway. And then I have to pick up my sister from work. So, yeah, we're going to do that now. It's almost 3 o'clock now. I made some applesauce while it's in the slow cooker being made right now. And I listened, while I did that, I listened to... Um, talking as fast as I can. I have an hour and a half left in that audiobook and um, I picked up Every Heart a Doorway which is under 200 pages so I can read that in a day which is good because it's already day four of the readathon and I've only finished one book which means I have seven more to go so um, yeah we'll see how it goes but I'm going to read for a couple of minutes, all the light we cannot see, and then I'm going with my mom to Joanne's to look at some stuff for Halloween and for a project that she's working on. And then tonight we have a family barbecue, so I don't know how much reading I'll get done after this, but I'll definitely read before bed. So yeah, going to get as much as I can in right now. I'm back from my family barbecue, had an awesome time, and... I'm going to go ahead and read for a little while. I'll probably read All the Light We Cannot See, but I might pick something else up. We'll see um, what I'm feeling in the mood for after I put my pajamas on and get ready for the night. But yeah, it's been a good day. I ended up deciding to start Three Dark Crowns. Um, because I just wanted to be swept away in like a fantasy world. I know it's still dark. Um, but, you know, a little more fantastical. Uh, I only read a few pages, like 15. Yeah, I'm on page 15. Because I'm tired and I'm going to go to bed. So, I'll see you in the morning. Hey everyone, it's 11.30 on October 5th. And I am going to clean my bathroom. I spent the morning with family and... Um, yeah, my bathroom needs to be cleaned, so I'm going to clean the bathroom, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to listen to Talking As Fast As I Can. I have about an hour and a half left on that audiobook, and I am loving it so far, so I'm excited to get back to it. Good evening, my friends. Uh, don't mind my crazy bun hair. I'm going to get in the bath, which you can probably hear. Um, 
and I have about 45 minutes left of talking as fast as I can and I want to finish that tonight and get farther in Three Dark Crowns which I am really enjoying so far so those are my reading plans I'll definitely check in one more time before I head off to bed but yeah it's a good day so I just finished talking as fast as I can by Lauren Graham and what is with these endings okay Gilmore Girls is gonna do me in like seriously what is up with this but anyways it was really good and I highly recommend it I would say um, I got the audiobook from my library's app and so sometimes she would be like look at picture number blah 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 and I didn't have access to those pictures, so that was kind of sad because some of them I would have really liked to see. Um, but it was a really good book, and I loved hearing it in her voice. So yeah, it was really fun. I'm going to go ahead. It's uh, 10 o'clock now, so I'm going to read for a little bit in Three Dark Crowns, and I will update you on how far I get in that before I go to bed. My <laughs> eyes are starting to go blurry, so I should go to sleep. But I really want to keep reading. Problems of a book nerd, am I right? But this book is so good. I'm a little over 100 pages into it. And uh, there's a lot of like info dumping happening. But it doesn't feel like it bogs down the story at all. So I am thoroughly enjoying it. Like I said, I want to keep reading. But my eyes are like, you need to go to bed now. So I'm going to, but... It's really good. <laughs> good morning, Monday the 6th, everybody. I didn't vlog yesterday, Sunday, because I was with family all day. <clears throat> um, I'm super red right now because I just did my workout. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update on what I did read yesterday. So I read up to about 270 pages, I think, into uh, Three Dark Crowns. And... That book is a book I could read all night if I didn't have to be a responsible adult and go to work. So, um, <clears throat> but it's really good and I'm planning on finishing that today. I also ordered a shower waterproof speaker so that I can listen to my audiobooks in the shower. Uh, and that should be arriving today or maybe tomorrow, so I'm very excited about that. And yeah, I'm going to go take a shower now. So I just finished Three Dark Crowns and holy cow this book is amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It was so good. I can't wait to get the second one. I'm going to have to wait till next month. Read all these other books but next month you know I'll be reading the second and the third one probably because it was incredible. It's 4.30 now and um, I'm trying to get my videos to upload to the computer so that I can upload them to YouTube but Things are happening, so we'll see how it goes. But I decided to pick back up all the light we cannot see. Um, yeah, I'm like a little over 100 pages into it and want to finish that in the next couple of days. So yeah. So I just completed my workout and I'm going to go take a shower, but I wanted to show you the Bluetooth speaker that I got um, that I'm going to be trying out today. So I got it off of Amazon and it was only $8, which is... A great price and uh, this is what it looks like it's just a little round speaker it's got a suction cup on the back so I can stick it to the tile in the bathroom and then it has a little cord to charge it um, I think it said it's supposed to last six hours and it takes about three hours to charge it fully so I charged it up last night and I'm gonna try it out today so I'll link it in the description box so you guys can go check it out if you want one and I'll let you know how it works in the shower. So I'm going to listen to Pride and Prejudice. And yeah, I'll tell you how it goes afterwards. So I just got out of the shower and got dressed. And this did really well. Um, the suction isn't that great. You definitely have to get it wet before you put it on the tile. Um, but we have a little like shelf thing in our uh, shower. So I just put it on there and it worked fine. It had really good sound quality. Um, yeah, I liked it. There's a little pause button. You can fast forward. You can go back. There's even like a call button if someone calls you. So, yeah, I like it. And for eight bucks, I mean, it's great. So I just started the dishwasher and put in some laundry. I'm going to go ahead and 
read Julie and Julia for a while and then I have a my September wrap up to edit and get uploaded today and you will have already seen it by the time this goes up so I will link it in the cards and down below so you can check it out if you haven't already because I read a lot of really great books in September but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and read this for a little while and yeah edit that video I was editing my September wrap up and it should be up today now comes the excruciating part which is uploading it takes forever while that video is uploading um <laughs> I'm going to read a little bit more in this. I am on, it doesn't have page number, page 27, page 27 of this, and it's good so far. Um, I think I'll enjoy it, so I'm excited to get back to it, but yeah, I've got laundry going, I ran the dishwasher, so it's been a productive morning. You guys, I finally got the notification that the obelisk gate is ready to be picked up at my library and I am so excited. So I'm going to be heading over there as soon as I can and picking that up because I want to read it so bad. I just got back from grocery shopping and I didn't buy anything to make Booth Bourguignon like in the Julie and Julia book, but I did buy some felt in varying shades of green and brown to make leaves for my Peter Pan costume. So I'm super excited about that. I need to work on the dress because sewing is not my strong suit, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night now and I'm only about 50 pages into this. I didn't read a lot today. Um, but I'm going to read for a little bit right now before I go to sleep. And yeah, I'll update you before I head off to bed. All right, I'm 80 pages into this, so I read about 30 pages. And this book is weird. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening half the time. Uh, some of it I really enjoy, and sometimes I'm just like, what? What am I reading? I don't. I don't understand. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this part of the vlog here because it is the end of week one of the Girl More Girls Readathon. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be continuing to vlog Gilmore Girls through the second week. So yeah, stay tuned for that.